hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we will discuss about the module 5 of model code module question number 1 so the first question uh, speaks about uh, the defined geographical indication sorry so 9a briefly explain the overview of industrial design okay and uh, the second topic is summarize the non protectable industrial design so two topics they have included okay and in one topic okay so first topic is about overview of industrial design so introduction to uh, industrial design and eligibility criteria also you can mention you can write so this is this will act as an overview of industrial design you can write any points under these things okay that will uh, come as the overview only okay so that was about the uh, five marks uh, and then summarize the non protectable industrial designs in india okay so here non protectable industrial design in india there are uh, sixth topic you can write okay so any industrial designs which is against the public moral values definitely that will be non protectable industrial designs in india next industrial designs including flags okay emblems or signs of any country that is not at all acceptable industrial designs of integrated circuits no any design describing the process of making of an article no industrial designs of books calendars ca all these things cannot be cannot be done and these three things that also you can write it so this is not subject matter of the registration for industrials such as painting sculpture all their drawing including uh, you know diagram map chart all those things and photographs and the work of the architecture any other work related to art uh, you know artistic uh, craftsmanship all these things are non protectable industrial designs in india or even industrial designs does not include any trademark okay that is in uh, the design act uh, 2000 uh, which has been implemented okay so these are the things so definitely you write introduction about five points about uh, uh, here you get around four points eligibility criteria also you can include if you want so that is the overview of industrial design and then the second half of this is the sixth topic that is non protectable industrial design you, you elaborate it if you find the no answers are less uh, for 10 marks then please elaborate because it's simple english and definitely you can elaborate with examples and all next discuss the design registration procedures by using the flow chart so that is design registration now so design registration procedure for registration yes procedure for registration of industrial design the first topic prior prior art research all those things here four uh, different things are there that you write okay for both all the four things we have got a, a particular you know websites you can just write down those website names okay and then finally the second topic application for registration that is very important okay which carries more marks this flow chart also carries around three or four marks so do not skip this flow chart flow charts are very important and they will easily get you more marks here it is very important to write yes and no amend amend all these things you know, at uh, different steps you have to mention okay at that specific things then only you will try to you can say that this particular thing is going to uh, be helpful okay for 10 to get the 10 marks next we are having this is done with the flow chart next 10a define geographical indications that is gi with an example so and what are the rights granted to the gi holders again two topics they clubbed for 10 marks so define geographical indications so now you have to write or just uh, you have to see what is geographical indications i guess that is second half of this particular topic i mean module um, classification design registration trend in india international treaties famous case laws yes geographical indication indications so geographical indications when one def one point definition is there in every country there are certain regions which are famous for their traditional knowledge or heritage 
in various sectors such as agriculture, food sector, or textiles, or so on. All these things will come under geographical indications. For example, if you see, uh, we usually call China silk. That means the silk which is coming from China, or uh, we also call it as a, for example, some of the example what you can Mysore sandal soap, or Ilkal sari, or Badgi uh, mirchi. So these all things or spice, all these things will come under uh, that picture. So that uh, can be explained and as one this thing with the example you have to see here there are four examples which have given Christopher Columbus sailed from Spain to improve the world famous spices from India so India is known for the spices so British people traveled to Arabian countries to import Arabian horses for uh, siring uh, fast running horses so Arabia was known for horses next similarly the China silk and Dhaka Muslims these all examples you can give okay and then the next question is uh, part of the question is what are the rights granted to the uh, GI holders so that we have to see that uh, rights granted to GI so this there are four different rights which are granted to the this thing so right to grant a license to the others uh, imagine uh, there is a Darwad Peda the Darwad Peda people can give rights to any any of, uh, of them so he has got a license he can give the license to them if he that license is not given uh, still people are using in that name then he has a uh, rights to sue them okay and next right to exploit okay the holder of the uh, can authorize users to exclusive uh, rights for the goods for which the gi is registered then rights to get reliefs so if it if at all uh, the unauthorized people has got something for GI products which has been used then the the one who is having the rights can sue them and he can get the relief concerning violation of such GI products so that will be the second part of this question so you will get the 5 plus 5 10 marks next discuss the case study of curcuma that is turmeric patent turmeric patent uh, case study of curcuma turmeric patents can you see say it this has got around lot long long list uh, five marks there was so write only what is required so i would suggest write the introduction okay very briefly that will carry you one marks background you don't have to write everything you write anything any one or two points one mark two points here two points here so total 4.2 marks i mean so next uh, controversies and oppositions two points again three marks resolution you write this whole resolution as one mark for one mark next lesson learned one mark so you will get the five marks okay next discuss of study basmati patent okay after this we are having the basmati yes basmati patent also same thing introduction one mark background one mark controversies opposition one mark okay so resolution one mark four marks next lesson learned one mark so total one mark i guess uh, both india and pakistan have were uh, together only about this basmati rice i guess against the united states uh, the trademark office and they won the case and uh, since it was in this particular region so they both fought it especially india fought it for uh, for it and we have won it the case please go through the topic and understand and study well okay so five marks it is more than enough so that's it uh, for model question one okay this is the model question one so far we have discussed module one module two module three module four module five module six sorry module five so far all the five modules i have explained separately next the model um, question two 
okay that i will explain in one video only okay in at one video only i will explain all those things okay so study well